So yesterday I showed off the 45 new faces that made their way over to the rest of FIFA 18 and today's video is going to be like a little follow on from that. We have one more new face that went under the radar, I didn't even notice it until I saw it on Twitter. And there is a new face for one play we're going to be discussing today. And this is the number one place for player faces on YouTube. So if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button today and the notification bell. And you won't be disappointed. So the new face update that went under the radar was Shatov. And he plays for Russian team FC Krasnodar. I think he was part of the Russian national team, but I don't know if he made the World Cup. His overall is 79, he's potentially 79. He is 26 years old, a left midfielder. And yeah, this guy was the new face that... When unnoticed, you know, I haven't seen anything about it. It wasn't on any of my lists, nothing on FIFA Mobile. And then I saw it on Twitter, and then I checked, and then he, he, he was actually a real face. So, yeah, something cool. That means there is 46 new faces instead of 45. And so, if you want to see the other 45, you can, of course, watch yesterday's video. And of course, I've added this guy onto my list of all the new faces. You can get that in the Career Mode Transfer Guide. And of course, for those who have purchased it, check your emails. I have issued an update. And for those people who have purchased it, I want to say thank you for supporting the channel. And if you're interested as well, there's 60 different chapters, but the 60th chapter has all the new real faces added in the World Cup update. It's a full list, and it tells you um, the last name of the player, uh, the years old, the current rating, the potential, the position, the transfer value, and the wage value. So it's basically everything in one. It's only five bucks. It's got 60 different chapters and it's going to help you find the right player to sign. You can download it straight away. It's an instant download. It works without the internet connection as well, so you don't need internet to use it. And it saves on a mobile or a PC based on a PDF document. So it works everywhere. The next part of the video is going to be a tutorial on how to get these faces in FIFA 18 because a lot of people don't know how. I've seen comments. And we're going to be on the PS4 today, but you can do the same steps on the Xbox One. Make sure your device is connected to the internet first off and it's able to download um, updates for different games. As you can see, you need to install this FIFA 18 update, otherwise you'll have no chance of getting these faces. And you can see that it came on the 9th of June for the PS4, so make sure you get this title update. It's called version 1.14. So once that's all downloaded and installed, I think it's a couple gigabytes this file, you can open up FIFA 18 now. So now you want to see this. As FIFA 18 is loading up, it says, your name will be connecting to the EA servers. You have to make sure your console is always connected to the internet during this process. If it's not connected, then it won't work because it needs to download a server update. Once it's connected to the EA servers and retrieves the data, you are halfway there. And if it's your first time logging into the servers, you will get this message from the FIFA team. It basically talks about the update. Nothing too important. You can just accept it. Now, they get these in the kickoff mode. They should be there automatically as long as you're signed into the EA servers. You can tell by looking at the top right-hand corner of the screen. If it says your username and it says your coins, um, you are connected. If it doesn't have that and it says you are not connected, that means you are not connected. So whatever you do, it ain't going to work. Um, play your normal kickoff. It will start downloading and applying the online squads. That is what you need as well. And like I said, it's very important that your device stays online the whole time. So it can download and apply the squads and, and all that stuff and the new faces. So yeah, you can just join up on a normal kickoff game. Uh, let me think of a team that has a new face. We'll do Munier from PSG. That's the only one I can think of at the top of my head right now. And we'll go Paris. And then it doesn't matter who we verse. But make sure live form is ticked. See that green thing with the triangle in the middle? Make sure live form is on. And that's when you'll get the new faces in kickoff mode. So let's just quickly make sure Munier is on the pitch. Because he wasn't, and it would have been a waste of time. There he is, Munier. We can go again. So we are now in the game, and we're just going to quickly skip all this stuff to get to the real face. And you have to do 30 seconds here of a match before you can get into instant replay. That should be enough. Let's get into the instant replay. Still doesn't let me. Let's go. There we go. And as you can see, Munier does have the new face now in kickoff mode. Now what I'm going to do to test this part now is not connect to the EA servers and let's see if the new faces are available offline because this is a server update. I'm not sure if you need to be connected to the servers to use these new faces. I know FIFA can be a little bit weird like that when you're not connected to the servers and you're not using live form. So let's pick up Munier again, put him at right back and we'll try out this little experiment. So we are now in an offline game, let's just quickly Go towards Munier. Let's play the next 40 seconds of this game to get the instant replay. Let's see if he does have a generic face when you play offline. So He does. So it looks like with our little, little experiment that you must be connected to the EA servers 
and you must have a device online to be able to use the new faces. Otherwise, you're just going to have a generic face. So it's a little bit of a bummer for those people that can't get a constant internet connection when they play FIFA. But you are going to get a generic face if you do not connect back to the EA servers every time you try and play a kickoff game. So I guess it's good to know. And this probably will be the same for the Xbox One as well. We are back online connected to the EA servers. Now we're going to move on to career mode. Now to get the new faces in career mode, you do have to start a brand new career mode. You can't use it on your existing career modes. Um, it's just how it is. So it's a little bit of a bummer. But that's the way EA has done it for a while now. So you have to go from the home tab to the play tab go to the career mode section of it and then you'll begin to enter in a career you can pick manager career and then you can pick your transfer market budget or something like that uh, let's go to PSG again because uh, we're going to use Munier for the example uh, Paris Saint Germain Mr. Manager from England sounds good and if you want to use my career mode transfer guide, make sure you choose Euros. So it lines up with the budgets and the salary in the guide. So it would actually help you rather than using dollars. So it doesn't matter what currency for the rest of you guys who don't have the career mode transfer guide. It doesn't really matter what currency you use. It's going to work either way. But for this sake, I'm going to put Euros. And make sure you have download latest as your settings. Not current customized, not default, download latest. That means it's going to get the latest stuff for all the teams in career mode. And then you can just click advanced and then move on. And as you can see, it starts downloading the latest updates. Make sure you enter a new career while you are connected to the EA servers. Otherwise, this will not work. You will have the outdated faces still because you're not online. And it says latest squads have been downloaded. And then it's just going to load up a career. So we are now in the career mode going towards squad hub. And you can see Munier has the new face right there on the right. So... That is one of the new faces that came. If you want to know all of them, you can use the career mode transfer guide. It tells you the full list of the players that got updated as well, all in the same chapter. It's got the player potentials, the overalls and stuff like that. So this is where that guide comes very useful because so FIFA doesn't even have a full list at the moment, I don't think. So for five bucks, you get an extremely good value with this career mode transfer guide. And then, of course, if you want to go and talk with other players that you found in the list, then you can do that normally through the search thing. So... If we take a look at the career mode transfer guide, just for an example, you can see that Lamar does have a new face according to the list. So let's just type in Lamar here. And we can match up the age with the position and the last name. But we all know who Lamar is anyway. So we'll start with that. That's the guy we want. Shortlist in the transfer hub. We have to back out all the way now. And then um, we've got to go to the transfer hub. So there's Lamar, and you can see he's got the real face on the right. So this means that all the real faces are now in the game, and they're good to go. So you have to start a new career mode, and make sure you are connected to the EA servers when you start your new career mode. Otherwise, it won't download the latest stuff, and it won't work. And of course, if you're playing career mode, not career mode, if you're playing kickoff mode, make sure you are connected online as well to the EA servers. Otherwise, you will get the generic faces again. So we're going to do one last test, just so I clarify everything. And we're going to load up the career we just created, but we're going to be offline. So we're not connected to the EA servers at the moment. And we're going to continue the career we just started that we downloaded the latest squad updates and all that stuff. So let's say we're offline. We're away from the internet. We can't log in, but we want to play career mode and get the new faces. We're just going to load up our existing career mode that we created after the new faces came out. And we're going to put Munier right back. There we go. We're going to jump into a match. As you can see, the top right-hand corner, it says press R3 to reconnect. That means we are offline. So we're going to jump into this game against Monaco. We're going to see if the new faces still apply while you're offline and you're playing career mode after you have installed a new career mode for these new faces. So we are now about to start the game. Let's get the instant replay going and let's see if Munier has his face carried over even though we're offline in this career mode. And as you can see, he does have his real face. So as long as you create the career mode while you're connected to the EA servers and you download the latest updates, it doesn't matter if you go back offline. This only applies if you're on kickoff mode. So if you are offline and you want to play kickoff mode, you'll have to be online every time. But if you're a career mode player, you have to be online once, once you start the new career mode, and then you can go offline after you've downloaded all the latest squad updates and all that. And the new faces will be saved in your... Uh, career mode save so I guess that's a good thing for career mode people and as you can see Munier does have the new face So hopefully this little tutorial did help you get all the new faces in career mode Remember that the career mode transfer guide 
has the full list of all the new faces plus the potentials the overalls and stuff like that it's only five bucks and it helps support the channel none of the money goes towards ea none of the money goes towards ultimate team and stuff like that this is actually direct support because i created the guide so i do hope you get the value you expect out of it but i think for five bucks it is extremely great value and considering it works offline and it's an instant download and you can put on your mobile devices there's no ads and uh, it has a lot of different filtered chapters already, so you don't have to spend time on SoFIFA to get all the different uh, filters to find your five-star skillers and stuff like that, your pre-contract players. I think for five bucks, it's going to really enhance the way you do transfers and it's going to save you a lot of time. So if you do want to support the channel, check it out in the description below. It should be the first link available and it's going to be in the pinned comment as well. And I hope you did enjoy. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below. If you want to watch another video, tap the thumbnail on your screen. If you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail, and I'll see you next time.